Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about different ways to split samples into stems in FL Studio, so let's get right into it. Now in FL Studio 21.2, you can split stems into vocals, drums, instruments, and bass. And it's pretty good having it built right into FL Studio. The quality can vary sometimes, and it is limited because it's only four stems, but let's go ahead and check the quality. Here is the sample that I'm trying to export out. Let's play it. This is actually one of my beats called Sovereign. I post my beats over on a different channel called JFatty Instrumentals. You can check it out with the link in the description or pinned comment. So if I go up to the top left here, right click and do extract stems from sample. Make sure drums, bass, instruments, and vocals are all clicked on and hit extract. It takes a couple minutes and it might take even more depending on how powerful your CPU is. All right, so we got our four stems here. So we'll listen to the actual wave and then the split stems. <laughs> So as you can hear, the stems sound pretty good. Some of the stems, especially like the instruments and the vocals, sound a little thin, a little flat, because some frequencies are getting cut or left in other parts of the stems. Like if we really listen to these instruments, you can hear that graininess and, and how flat and kind of thin it sounds. But then if we add the vocals on top of the instruments, It starts to sound a bit better. Now the bass and the drums, you'll hear it sound more full because it's probably the drums really that are taking a lot of the frequencies out and it's making some of these other things sound thin. Now let's move on to the next stem separator that I'm going to talk about today. This one is called G Audio Studio, okay? I'm going to have it linked down in the description. This one is free. You don't have to you pay any subscription or you do any of that. It's free. There's no trial. You can just upload what you want and you can wait to get it. Notice I said wait to get it because it does take a little bit longer than these other options that I've showed you. So if we go to upload, so you can either use a file or a URL, which is pretty cool. But we'll just drop this file in, hit next, and then we can choose what we want. We're just going to split the drums from the actual chops and hear how well it does. So I'll just make sure the drums are highlighted and then hit request. Notice you can do vocal, drum, bass, electric guitar, piano, and then it has more coming soon. This, this site is in beta, so keep that in mind. But we'll hit request. Okay, so it took about 45 seconds to upload. Now it's uploaded. You can see that it's in queue. So we got to wait even longer to get it processed. Okay, so now it has separated the drums from the waveform. I have the results right here. It took about a minute, and it was shorter earlier when I was testing this before the video, so I think it depends on the amount of people in the queue waiting to get their uh, stuff exported out. So if we just click on the waveform here, it'll take us over to this area where we can actually listen to the drums and the rest of the chops and hear them separately or together and hear how it did. So let's play it together and then we'll mute the chops and then vice versa. So it doesn't sound too bad. Right away, I can already hear some drop in quality. Maybe just how the audio was processed via this site. It does sound a little bit, um, a little lower in quality. 
Let's go ahead and download these though real quick. That way we can compare them to the last one. All right, so now we got the FL drums and the G audio drums. Let's just compare this stem layer. Start with the FL drums first. Very interesting. They both sound pretty dope. The FL drum sounds like it's a bit more boxy in frequencies and it has a lot more high end. Whereas the G audio drums sounds a bit more like it's capturing a lot of the reverb at certain spots. If we listen to the G audio, especially like the first, we listen to the first four bars of this G audio, you can really hear like the first two bars, there's no reverb. And then the next two bars, it really captures the reverb of the drums. Yeah, it was actually the first bar had no reverb, then the second bar it captured the reverb. So that's very interesting. And it also didn't capture the first kick of the drums. <laughs> compared to the FL drums there, which did. So very interesting for G Audio being free. It was pretty good. But if you have FL 21.2, you know, you may as well use the stem separator in it to get the drums. It just depends on if you like the G audio drums quality over the FL drums quality or not. I think I like the FL drums quality a bit more. It's because it's capturing more frequencies in the high end and it seems like it's more consistent with the actual split. All right, so we'll move on to the last stem separator here, which is La La L AI. This is one of the OG ones, if not the first one that really came on the market of separating stems. It's a really good tool. So let's compare it with these other ones. So I'm going to load up the same chops on La La L. Let it do its thing. See, it's uploading very quickly. Now it seems to be processing. I know this takes like half the time, if not even a quarter of the time that the G audio took, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we already have our preview here just in the amount of time I was talking. So let's listen to it. Let's put both of them on. That seems to be pretty good just from listening to this. If we look over here, we can choose different previews. We got vocal and instrument, drums, bass, voice and noise, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, piano, synthesizer, strings, and wind. These last three are in beta, but I believe they'll have some more stems coming soon as well, which is pretty cool. Let's just do vocal and instrumental just to hear it. I'm curious. Just click the preview and it's just going to do the same thing it did before. It shouldn't take too long. And there we go. Our previews are ready. So let's listen to these. That's pretty good. Let's go back to the drums so we can download it and test it with the other ones. So I'm going to hit process the entire file here. So I can go ahead and just download all or choose the ones that I want to download. I'm just going to do the drums. So now we have the drums from all three laid out here. If we look at the waveform, they look all very similar. Let's compare the FL drums with the La La L drums. So it does sound like the FL drums is capturing way more higher frequencies and it kind of does it harm in a way like it makes it sound really airy. Compared to the La La L drums, it doesn't sound like it has as much airiness in it, which is a good thing in my opinion. Now, if we compare the La La L drums with the G Audio drums, Well, other than the G Audio drums missing that first kick note, I think they sound kind of similar, but I do think the La La L drums sound better because it has more clarity on the low end. I can really hear the kick coming through 
in a nice way. It sounds like it's not getting chopped up in any frequencies. It sounds more clear compared to the G audio. Let's listen again. It really feels like the La La L drums is getting that oomph of the kick like it should. So in my opinion, I'd say La La L AI has the better drum stem just because it has a better clarity on the low end and it's not getting a bunch of high airy frequencies. It sounds pretty clean. So if you're looking for some quality and variety, I would go with La La L AI. If you're looking for a quick stem separator, just go with FL Studio because it's built right into it. And if you're looking for a free one, then check out G-Audio because it's not bad itself. You just have to wait a little bit. You can find the link to LaLaL.ai and G-Audio in the description in the first pinned comment. That's pretty much it for this video. If this video brought you value, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. And if you need any samples, drum breaks, or any of that, you can check out the vault sounds. They'll be linked down below as well. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.